it's the pizza here and I finally got around to doing Ice Dwarf Kingdom which is the first uh, instance they released after the full game and I was just showing you the entrance because I thought it looked pretty freaking sweet and so I'm just going to be showing you some interesting spots because this is it's not a short dungeon in the game we did get lost for about a good 15 minutes because we kept going around in a circle and didn't know what to do and this is the first time I've run Ice Dwarf Kingdom so you'll see me comp completing a couple quests but yeah I found this spot interesting too just because uh, you know so far all the dungeons in this game have been for the most part one level like there's not a there's not a second story to this I mean to most dungeons but this one has some uh, a pretty sweet design like when you it's got the whole uh, second level then you know I don't know it just looked really cool to me and it was it was fun the first time experiencing it so and I wanna answer a couple of questions that you guys have been sending me uh, I use fraps to record and I think it costs thirty seven dollars I my mage's character name is Cheddar Cheese one word capitalize the first C and some of you have been asking me if I'm gonna ever go back to perfect world and to be honest probably not if I do play I will probably just play for well for hardly any time and I might just play to maybe show you guys some videos of the differences they made to the game because since I haven't played it in such a long time it's probably a completely new game but so yeah, here's the uh, top of the second floor, and I think, no, I did run this one time before, but then I, of course, threw away all the quest items, and uh, yeah, I had to go after like, you know, 15 minutes, so I only got to around this point, and uh, I jumped off the stairs just, just for fun. And here's the first boss, the Mole King, there's not really anything to say about him, just kill him. Uh, we had three fifty and above, and then three who were around level thirty-five. So it was a pretty even balance. Even though you'll see later on, we don't do so well. Oh, uh, there are I think three bosses in this video. Uh, so yeah, Mole King, just kill him. Not really anything to say about that. And he goes down. Uh, he actually dropped a pretty nice ring for the lower levels in our party. So they got something good out of it. And moving on to the next boss who most people just call him Chef. Because as you can see he's a chef. And this is exactly what not to do. Don't do that. Because the fireplace does AOE damage a lot of AOE damage and when he says cut 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 you, like you could see chef say cut 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 it means he's about to do another AOE attack and I think someone in my party said it could take up to 60 percent of your health away so that's that's pretty bad so stay away from the fireplace and when he says cut 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 back away but don't back away into the fireplace like you saw our mage do right there so I was uh, I was dead this whole time. There's actually an interesting story about how we got revived. So of course the fireplace does AOE damage all the way to about the stairs you see on the top of the screen. So pretty much when you're in the the level that's slightly lower than the rest of the area, like into the actual kitchen, that's when you start to take the AOE damage from the fireplace. And so our mage was level 37, I think, and he can only take two or three hits from the fireplace before he died and so it was it was pretty funny we were just kinda of making strategies on how to revive me because I was the furthest out and so he'd pop his shield get hit once and the one hit takes away his shield and lowers some of his health Then we just ran as fast as possible back it was actually uh, pretty funny while I was running through it so then after that, we move on to the next boss, who 
I'm not sure if he's the final boss in the dungeon or not. But, uh, yeah, right here I was trying to get the ale barrel in. There's an invisible wall that you can't jump over. So, fail. But, the next boss is the boss we kind of died at. <laughs> uh, our level 55 mage, I think, had to go. After, uh, after a while. So, what you need to do is, we were so confused at this part, because there's only one person that's run this before, and I'm not sure if they remembered how to do it or not. Well, actually, no. Both of the other 50s have run this before. But what you want to do is you want to kill the people that are zapping them, which you see the body in front of me. It's it's clear. There's a stream of, like, it kind of looks like electricity going between him and the guys zapping him. And so you want to just stand in the circle, and that'll bring him to life. And if I'm wrong on any of this stuff, feel free to correct me, because... I would hate to give you guys wrong information and end up killing you. And so this was the Icebound Guardian. It's probably the most interesting fight, interesting boss fight, because uh, you'll see when he gets to 50%, which right now I don't think our mage is doing any DPS, which is why we're not taking him down very fast. So you see you're just kinda pretty easy right now and before the battle someone said get in the circles and of course since I'd never fought him before I had no idea what that meant. So you'll see me panning the camera around looking for circles constantly because I'm just wondering when are the circles going to pop up. And so uh, now our mage starts doing some damage and he goes down fast. So let's see. Eh, yeah, maybe not. Ah, it's taking him a while to go down. Um, so, not really anything to say while this part's going on. This part, you just, just kill him. Just kill him as normal until he gets to 50%. You can see he may have some sort of very small AoE right there because our, one of our members died. And yeah, here, here goes his health. Alright, so, his health goes down, you see the circles right there. You want to stand in the circles. Unfortunately, in the level 35 version of this dungeon, there's level 35 and level 50. In the level 35 version, the circles only last for 6 seconds. And when he goes down like that, that is when you want to get in the circles as fast as possible. I didn't know, I thought this is when you are supposed to hit him as hard as you can. And I was just like, okay, this doesn't look good. So you can see it took out a lot of health, and I overshot the circle. Luckily I managed to get back in, and it disappeared on me. So I'm running to the next one, almost made it, and I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, so that's where we all died, and we actually tried him one more time, and we died again. So it was it was pretty sad. If we had a higher level healer, we'd probably been able to group heal and keep us alive till we were able to get to another circle. But seeing as we didn't, we wiped here and had to leave after one more attempt. So that's my very first attempt at Ice Dwarf Kingdom. And it's it's fun. I gotta say, it's probably the most interesting dungeon because it's got the... it. It keeps you interested longer than all the other dungeons because it's more than just run around and kill things. Well, I guess basically it is. But, you know, it's a little bit more than that. That's all the time for this video. Till next time.